and we're joined by Simon Hayes and he's our local police crime commissioner. So it is a question of of being alert to young mm-hmm. people who might be showing changes in the way they behave. 27th of January saw the 2016's Holocaust Memorial Day. There were also personal stories told by two survivors, Harry Grenville and Walter Cameron. We, we must exploit uh, what the media can do for us to uh, keep this particular memory alive. When I'm sitting here with Black History Month manager Lou Taylor. But the whole point of Black History Month in Southampton is to celebrate the achievements of black people that have uh, existed in the area. And we're joined by Royston Smith, our Conservative MP. You know, make your goals realistic, but then, you know, strive for them, work hard for them. Don't think it's all going to happen for you. you know, for and we also, with Stone Mind, we do um, prevention work as well and help people that have mental health problems get back on the road to recovery and empower them and make them feel they can achieve what they want. I'm lucky enough to be joined here by Tom, who is a creature actor. Uh, currently, uh, my most fulfilling experience today would definitely be working on the new Star Wars film The Force Awakens and being part of that story and that world and that franchise is a a dream come true for me. It's so, you know, if you've lived a certain sort of life, if you've been through certain troubles, you want to express yourself, maybe you're angry, maybe you want to get that out on the... I'm here with James Ward Proud, Southampton and England Under 21 International. Thank you James for agreeing to speak Um, with me today. So it's even harder for younger players now to to match the physicality and the quality of the Premier League. It's myself and Westy caught up with the legend himself. Matthew Letizia. We were very much a, a, a close knit squad, uh, and it was that kind of team spirit that got us out of a lot of tough scrapes. Yeah, I was putting it on, drinking it, you name it, anything that looked cool in uh, Corfu in 1985. That theme of looking to the future, seeing that there's a big wide world in front of you, and you want to step forward to do it, just spoke to me. It's timeless. We've got another interview now, but not with a student, with a cleaner at the college. And my gosh, he was such a dancer. Beautiful. (laughs) And I remember how I used to dance, yeah. And I'm here with Julie Fry, a police chief inspector. Uh, What the college like you to do is very much... um, have some exposure and observe um, what the students get up to. I played it in Portsmouth and I won a competition with it. So you're you're going to play it on the accordion for us today? Uh, Yep, I think I will, yes. We hope. Yeah, we we hope and pray. It's Radio.